Don't tell the bride, celebrate weddings like no one else. Congratulations on your <laughs> From New York <laughs> to Glasgow. Oh, my God. God. Las Vegas. Yeah, Why would the man I love do this? To Ibiza. Tonight, fun-loving Essex girl Nikki. Eyelash malfunction. Gives full control of her wedding to a man stuck in the 18th century. I'm not normal, and I quite happily admit that. With a bride dreaming of a pink girly wedding. Candles. Love everywhere. Glitter. <laughs> And everyone doubting his choices. You're like allergic to having fun. Just let go for once. Top, top, no fun. Hoping to find someone to support his plan for a sedate stag. Hi. Nathan has come to see his mum and stepdad. Happy to see you. I'll see you too. Right. Greg. Greg, Greg, Greg. Oh, your eyes are going with Greg. Issue. I think he wants to tie me up to a lamppost. Uh, that's a norm. Not for me, it's not. I'm not normal. And I quite happily admit that. So, so what do you want to do then? I consider doing having sort of tear the ribs. <laughs> no, knife. No. Just let go for once. Let oh, go. No. You can't go for tea at the Ritz for your scope. Oh. You've been sweet with me. Nathan does always have this posh persona. And yet I would have never, ever, ever in a million years thought he'd have a girl like Nikki. When he walks through the door with her, I can't believe it. You know, there's him drinking his tea and his flouncy cups and goodness <laughs> knows what. And you know, hairdresser, Essex. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan Snob. Nah. Essex girl, girl Nikki, on the other hand, doesn't have a problem having fun. Nathan has organised for Nikki and her friends to visit a local nightclub for her Hindu. No, I admit, I admit, I admit you're all right. I love you. He loves me, love me. Oh, he's good for Nikki is completely thrown by Nathan's choice of London. But on the hottest day of the year, in an ancient building with no air conditioning, Nathan's only regret is his choice of fur jacket. Sweaty. So first, can I ask Greg, our best man, please, to come forward with the rings? Just get out my man bag. I've got the audio sensors in here, actually. <laughs> Don't know what you might need on the wedding day. Cut it, so. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Nathan Ashley Peter Bones, do take thee, Nicola Moira Bacon, to be my lawful wedded wife. Do you take thee, Nathan Ashley Peter Bones, to be my lawful wedded husband. And now it is my great pleasure and privilege to pronounce that you are husband and wife. Nathan might have ruined Nikki's dreams of an Essex wedding, but how can anyone stay mad with Prince Charming? I'll nibble your ears. <laughs> there has to be a grand entrance. <laughs> and he's practised his timing to perfection. Oh, is this with you? You want to get to a specific bit? <laughs> I'm
it. They're in the red. They can't even see us anyway. They can't see us. Somehow, history hating Mickey has been won over. Maybe Nathan really does know it all. You have made history fun yeah. for our wedding day. It was stylish, it was good, very grand. I think me and Nathan pulled it off, we've done a good job. Oh, come on, yeah. I'm so proud of them. I really, really am. <laughs> Both of them. Oh. We we've done it, we've tried, we tried. And with the waltz being a step too far, he does get one thing absolutely right. <laughs> and a groom who's obsessed with the past can finally look to the future. Oh, no. I'm just looking forward just to starting my new life with, well, I guess my new wife. Mr. and Mrs. Bones. That's right. Don't tell the bride. Rachel tweets, stag do. Yes, cake, let's have it. Ali reckons the bridesmaids are butcher than the groom. And Maddie says, I would be slightly concerned if my future husband told me to stop fingering the chiffon. Go online to the BBC Three website and have your say on our Facebook page or Twitter. Don't tell the bride continues next Tuesday at nine. <laughs>